Hey, Enix Sears here, founder and publisher of Business of Architecture, and I just wanted to share with you a short little five minute video clip of Steve Jobs that has some priceless, priceless tips in it for running a fantastic business. And I really feel if you listen carefully here, he talks about the foundation for what makes Apple great. And these two business lessons are applicable to any architecture firm and really any business in the world. Now, if you're not already on the Business of Architecture website and you're viewing this video on a different on a different website, click the link below this video to go to the Business of Architecture website after you watch the video to have me explain and talk about these two key business insights. Let's see if the ones that you pick up are the same ones that I noticed and let's talk about how this can help grow your business. These are things that I wish someone would have told me years ago when I started down the journey of entrepreneurship. So without further ado, here's Steve Jobs at a computer conference answering an audience member's question in 1997. Mr. Jobs, you're a bright and influential man. Here it comes. <laughs> sad and clear that on several counts you've discussed, you don't know what you're talking about. I would like, for example, for you to express in clear terms how, say, Java, in any of its incarnations, addresses the ideas embodied in OpenDoc. And when you're finished with that, perhaps you could tell us what you personally have been doing for the last seven years. Uh. You know, you can please some of the people some of the time, but one of the hardest things when you're trying to affect change is that people like this gentleman are right in some areas. I'm sure that there are some things OpenDoc does, probably even more that I'm not familiar with, that nothing else out there does. And I'm sure that you can make some demos, maybe a small commercial app that demonstrates those things. The hardest thing is, what, how does that fit in to a cohesive, larger vision that's going to allow you to sell um, eight billion dollars, ten billion dollars a product a year. And one of the things I've always found is that you've got to start with the customer experience and work backwards to the technology. You can't start with the technology and try to figure out where you're going to try to sell it. And I've made this mistake probably more than anybody else in this room. And I've got the scar tissue to prove it. And I know that it's the case. And as we have tried to <clears throat> come up with a strategy and a vision for Apple, um, it started with what incredible benefits can we give to the customer? Where can we take the customer? Not, not starting with, let's sit down with the engineers and, and figure out what awesome technology we have and then how are we going to market that. Um, and I think that's the right path to take. Uh, I remember with the laser writer, we built the world's first small laser printers, you know, and there was awesome technology in that box. We had the first Canon laser printing, cheap laser printing engine in the world in the United States here at Apple. We had a very wonderful printer controller that we designed. We had Adobe's PostScript software in there. We had Apple Talk in there. Just awesome technology in the box. And I remember seeing the first uh, printout come out of it and just picking it up and looking at it and thinking, you know, we can sell this. Because you don't have to know anything about what's in that box. All we have to do is hold this up and go, do you want this? And if you can remember back to 1984 before laser printers, it was pretty startling to see that. People went, whoa, yes. And that's, that's where Apple's got to get back to. And, you know, I'm sorry that OpenDoc's a casualty along the way. And I readily admit there are many things in life that I don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. So I apologize for that too. But there's a whole lot of people 
working super, super hard right now at Apple. You know, Avi, John, Garino, Fred. I mean, the whole team is working, burning the midnight oil, trying to, and, and, and people, you know, hundreds of people below them, to execute uh, on some of these things, and they're, they're doing their best. And I think that what we need to do, and some mistakes will be made, by the way. Some mistakes will be made along the way. That's good because at least some decisions are being made along the way. And we'll find the mistakes, we'll fix them. And I think what we need to do is support that team going through this very important stage as they work their butts off. They're all getting calls, being offered three times as much money to go do this, do that, the valley's hot, and none of them are leaving. And I think we need to support them and see them through this and write some damn good applications uh, to support Apple out in the market. That's my own point of view. Mistakes we made, some people will be pissed off, some people will not know what they're talking about, but it's, I think it is so much better than where things were not very long ago. And I think we're going to get there. So, I think we've got time for just...